Hello everyone, so today I am doing the most mammoth favourites video I think I've ever, ever done. I basically got a bit sick of doing non-beauty favourites and beauty favourites because the non-beauty favourites always just ended up feeling really, really random and I always do it way later than I do my monthly favourites. So I decided to just this month combine everything. There are a lot of things that I've loved in October. There's been a lot of new beauty releases. There's just been a lot of stuff. So I thought I'd just pile it all in one video for you. I hope you don't mind. If you do, there's not much I can do about it because I've already filmed this. There's actually so much that I don't really know where to get started. I think I'm just going to go with eye palettes because that feels kind of manageable. And the first palette that I really started loving this month was the The Balm Nude Dudes palette, which is an awesome little palette. It's got quite a few different shades, including some gold and rose gold colours, which I have been absolutely loving this month. That paired with a kind of dark lip is my go-to and I've been loving it. This palette is awesome. Next up, I got my hands on a very exciting palette this month. I wanted this for so, so long and it is gorgeous. This is the Tom Ford Eye Quad in Cognac Sable and I just think this is absolutely gorgeous. It's got kind of beigey browny colours with then like some really shimmery goldy browny colours and it is just the most beautiful palette. I went quite full on with this recently when I went to a wedding because I really wanted to make it as smoky as I possibly could. I really liked having the opportunity to kind of go all out with this but even just for daily wear the kind of beigey kind of sandy shade in the corner is so so beautiful. It's kind of got a golden shimmer running through it and I just think that it is beautiful. And then the mid-tone brown and the kind of orangey amber goldy browny shade is so beautiful as well and I kind of run those through the outer corners and crease along with the kind of lighter colour. The shadows are amazing quality, it is super expensive but if you are looking for a really gorgeous eye quad I would definitely recommend this. However, a couple of years ago I actually kind of replicated this a little bit in a MAC quad so that's definitely something you could look into. But also there's another palette that I wanted to talk to you about that I've really been liking that has some kind of similar shades and is a lot more on the affordable scale. And the more affordable palette that I picked up this month is the Maybelline The Nudes which I've been wanting to get my hands on for a long time and I feel like this came out in the US so long ago. It's a great palette, it has so many shades so it's great for travelling with, it's great for everyday wear, also great for evening wear just like the Tom Ford palette except it has a lot more shades so I feel like this will please a a lot more people. One thing I did find is that the shadows aren't super pigmented, like the Tom Ford ones you swipe your finger through it and it is all over your finger and it's so pigmented and goes on forever. These are a little bit more sheer which is kind of good if you're just starting out with makeup and you don't want to kind of go wrong. I find that sheer shadows are great for that but they're also good in the fact that you can build them up, it just takes a bit more time and it has a really good black shade in it as well which I like because you kind of can double it as an eyeliner and smoke things out a lot. It's just a very good versatile palette. And the final palette I've been loving this month I feel has definitely been in a favourites video before but I adore this and this is perfect for autumn as well. I've actually lost a shadow from it uh, which is currently on my windowsill but it's a beautiful kind of champagne-y goldy shade that's meant to go here. The shades in this palette are so perfectly autumnal and I've been wearing them a lot. I really like the shade Freshly Toasted which is this kind of burgundy shade here. That is beautiful through the crease but also all over the eyelid. I've never really wanted to wear a matte shade all over the eyelid before but this I just want to smother my face in it. The shade next to it, Substitute for Love, is a lovely kind of everyday crease colour as well and then Subtle Blend is this gorgeous kind of rich brown at the top and I love that. It's just so gorgeous. Basically I just love this palette. It is awesome and it's not too expensive either. I feel like I went against my word and definitely rambled on about those palettes. So moving on, I'm going to try and be quick with the lipsticks. The first one of which is the Illamasqua Glamorous Lipstick in Vega. I love this stuff. I'm wearing it today. You guys have seen this a million times before. It is gorgeous. If you want to see that in a tutorial, I will link that in the info box. The next lipstick I've been loving is the YSL Rouge Purgature in the shade 70. Yeah, that's the one. And this is a gorgeous kind of pinky, orangey coloured nude. It's so, so pretty and it's very kind of sheer, very creamy, but long lasting at the same time. It's a really nice lipstick formulation. So I've been liking that one a lot. It really works with my skin tone. And then I've also been loving a couple of lipsticks from Tom Ford. The first one is Sable Smoke. And I've been loving this for a good couple of months now. You guys will know if you've watched my videos for a couple of months. Um, and this is a beautiful kind of orangey toned nude which works really well with kind of bronze skin and a smoky eye. Next up I'm going to do cheek products. This is the Tiny Bird Cosmetics palette which I am in love with. I'm going to be honest, in terms of cheek products it's really hard to get bronzer, blush and highlighter right. So I was a bit kind of sceptical about this one but I gave it a try and I 
freaking love this. The bronzer in it is gorgeous, it's the perfect bronzer for my skin tone, it's got a really great pigment to it and a little bit of shimmer so it gives you a nice glow but not like a disco bally glow in any way. The blush is also gorgeous, it's very reminiscent of Laura Mercier Lush Lush Nectarine, I can't say it. The highlighter is amazing, it's so super subtle. Normally when you get kind of an affordable highlighter, it's got a lot of shimmer or glitter, but this just gives kind of like a, a glow that is kind of just, it looks like the light is just hitting your cheeks. There's no shimmer whatsoever. It's amazing, I love this, it's perfect for everyday wear. But for when I want a really intense highlight, this month I've been going for the Balm's Mary Luminizer, which is so beautiful. It's very similar to the Becca highlighters and I just think that it is so awesome, I've been liking that a lot. I've actually been leaning towards this over my Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow for daily wear, and that definitely says something. Charlotte Tilbury is kind of reserved for the intense evening highlight, but for daily wear, this is awesome. And I've just stuck my finger in it. Excellent. Next up, I've got kind of a new and an old favorite. It's one affordable foundation, which is one of the very few that my skin actually gets on with. And it's actually been reformulated. This is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. When I heard this has been reformulated, I freaked out because it's one of the few foundations that doesn't break me out. But I decided to pick up a new bottle just to see what the new version was like. And I like it even more than the original. It doesn't seem to have broken me out yet, which gets a massive thumbs up. Because when you look in the bottle, you can see there's kind of a subtle shimmer, which that's usually something that's in drugstore foundations that will completely freak my skin out. But none of that so far, which I'm really happy about, and I actually prefer the updated formula. It's so much more kind of moisturising. I think they've added extra oils to it or something like that. It does seem to have really worked and I prefer the new formulation so much more. There seems to be a good variety of shades and I definitely recommend picking this up if you can get your hands on it. Next up is a kind of skincare makeup y product for me. I feel like it's meant to be more skincare but I kind of use it as the in-between stage between skincare and makeup and this is the YSL Top Secrets Instant Moisture Glow and this is kind of meant to be the last step in your makeup as kind of a moisture boost uh, but I use this actually after my moisturiser as an extra moisture boost, but kind of also in place of a primer before I put on my foundation. And I just find that makeup goes on so much better over the top of this. It definitely has a kind of silicone-y feel, which does a good job at perfecting the skin as well as hydrating it. Because of that, I don't think I'd recommend it for real skincare use, but just in terms of making sure your base looks really flawless but hydrated, this is amazing. I've really been enjoying using it. Another one from L'Oreal. I don't think I've ever featured so much L'Oreal in a favourites video before, but this is their Telescopic Extra Black Mascara. And I use their Telescopic Normal one, but I picked this up this month and I just wanted to let you know that I've really been liking it. I really appreciate the extra blackness to it, especially when I'm kind of doing a more smoky eye it helps your lashes to kind of stand out when there's kind of a darker background. That is all of the makeup done. Yes! <laughs> and now I'm moving on to kind of extra bits and bobs and the first thing I've been loving this month is the Orally Colour Blast and this is in the shade Chrome Foil. This was free with Elle magazine this month so if you see this still on sands then definitely pick it up. It's basically a cool toned pinky shimmer and I think that it's beautiful. I've been wearing it on my nails a lot this month. I've got another fragrance favourite this month. I just I have a thing for fragrances. They are just one of my favourite things ever. And this month I've been loving the YSL Black Opium Eau de Toilette, I think this one is. It's fruity, but it's kind of got the vanilla-y kind of dark undertone to it that I like. Basically, any fragrance that I like always has a bit of kind of fruitiness and darkness and a bit of muskiness and that's kind of my thing that I go for. Very sweet, but dark at the same time. With this, I tend to wear it a bit more in the evening. I've been wearing my Givenchy Dahlia de Vin fragrance during the day and then this has a little bit more darkness to it So I've been wearing this a lot in the evening. So I'm gonna do candles next. These are two of my absolute favorites I'm obsessed with them at the moment. This one I've actually been obsessed with for quite a while But I couldn't take it to Greece with me to put in my favorites last month So it's going in a favorites now. Very excited. This is the Alex Simone Monaco Late de Coco coconut milk scented candle there's a lot of words on this jar. It's a coconut scented candle and I am obsessed with this. <sighs> I'm not normally a massive lover of coconut, but this is absolutely beautiful. And I love burning this in our living room. It just smells absolutely gorgeous. And it's not too overpowering, but you can still smell it and it still kind of scents your home. And the second one I've been loving is a more recent addition to my stash, but this is the Clinique, Ar Ar I can't say it. It is the Clinique Aromatics in Black Candle. It's kind of a bit, spicy but not spicy it's not like a Christmassy kind of spicy it's absolutely gorgeous I'll kind of link 
to it in the info box so you can go and see what it actually smells like because I'm useless at describing candle scents like this. But this smells delicious, it's so warming and just a really perfect autumnal scent. I think there's an actual fragrance that goes alongside this as well but um, I just am in love with the candle. And then I've got a bit of a random favourite before I move on to skincare. This is the Hotel Chocolat Salted Caramel Drinking Chocolate. This stuff is awesome. <laughs> it is literally the most intensely chocolatey hot chocolate in the world and I'm just absolutely obsessed with this at the moment and I need to kind of ration it because I am just so obsessed with this stuff. If you're looking for a nice Christmas present for someone that really loves hot drinks, I definitely recommend picking this up. So we're moving on to things now that I've been keeping in my bathroom. Next we have a shampoo that I loved years and years ago and I picked up when we were in Greece and it's the Apavita volumizing shampoo and I owned this when I first started blogging before YouTube I think and it is so so good and it is the best volumizing shampoo I have ever used. Back in the day when I used this I used to have really super long hair like longer than it is at the moment it was kind of down to my belly button and this actually managed to give that length hair some volume. It is so, so good. I've missed this a lot. And then the final thing that I've been liking that was kind of on my bathroom shelf is the Tresemme Expert Selection Perfectly Undone Defining Spray for Waves and Layers. And this is just an amazing kind of texturizing spray. It's so affordable, but it's actually one of the best texturizing sprays I've used. It doesn't have too much hold, uh, which I like because I don't really like that kind of crispy, sticky feeling. It just helps to give so much texture to your hair. It's very similar to the Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray, but just a tiny bit more subtle. It doesn't have too, too much grit, which is perfect for me because my hair has a little bit of texture already, but sometimes it just needs that little bit extra. And this stuff is perfect. It's a ginormous can and it's super affordable and I've been liking this a lot. We're almost at the end of this, people. The next thing that I've been loving is a book favourite and this is The Martian, which is by Andy Weir. And my boyfriend actually recommended this to me and said that I would really like it. And I was kind of sceptical because I knew there was a little bit of kind of maths and science chat in it and I'm not really the most clued up on that kind of thing. But the book is so so good. The humour in it is perfect. I personally really love it. I love the way they've written the main character. This has come out in the cinema recently and I read this before I saw it in the cinema. We went and saw the movie and were actually kind of really disappointed because if you've read the book I feel like they don't really do the character justice in the film and the character in this is just so so funny and you just end up rooting for him and really really loving him. I loved this book, I would actually kind of like to read it again, it's one of those ones that I just just really appreciate the humour in it and it made me laugh, it made me almost want to cry at points but I definitely recommend giving this a read. Before I move on to style favourites I'm literally just going to rattle off a few of my favourite TV shows this month. So Scream Queens which is awesome, it's kind of like a mix between Scary Movie, Mean Girls, Pretty Little Lies and American Horror Story all squished into one. The Walking Dead is back and I am just all over that. I don't know why, I used to hate zombie things but I love The Walking Dead, I think it's great. Scandal is also back and I am obsessed with it. I've been obsessed with it for so long, like so many years now. But I'm so happy that that is back. That and Walking Dead are kind of like perfect autumn television viewing. And I think that is it for my TV favourites this month. So next I'm going to move on to style favourites. Nala is actually currently sleeping on my style favourites so I have to move her and I feel really bad. So the first things I've been loving this month are roll necks and this one is one from Zara which I love. I love the kind of camely brown colours, they're very autumnal and this one was actually a heads up from my friend Tijan because she has one like this and she wore it on her Instagram and I was like girl where is that from? Tell me now. I think she'd actually picked it up in the US and I was like damn but she said that Zara do an almost identical version and they do. This is a great piece to add in your wardrobe for autumn. I think it looks so so good with skirts and tights and boots but also skirts and kind of knee high boots. I think it works really nicely and it's super cozy as well. It can be a tiny bit itchy but generally in the winter I will wear a t-shirt under things like this anyway so it won't bother me at all and I love the knit of it and the colours in it. It's so gorgeous and it wasn't too expensive either. Next thing is inside out. Bear with me. Next thing I've been loving is a t-shirt from Illustrator illustrated people and you will have seen this in one of my vlogs but it just says your basic buy on the t-shirt and I think that it's really cute and funny. I've had to leave part of this final item underneath Nala at the moment because she won't give it up but this is a scarf from River Island which I picked up a couple of weeks ago now and I think that this is so cute. I love the colours and the patterns in it. It's basically a really soft scarf and it's got kind of like a marl grey kind of pattern on half of it 
and then the other half is kind of like a beautiful creamy coloured knit and then on parts of it you just have a black knit as well and it's just so so gorgeous i'm really into pattern scarves and this is a really lovely snuggly one i am just obsessed with this and that is it for my favorites i really hope this isn't like an hour long video let me know in the comments if you made it until the end and if you like this kind of new format of favorites video it might not always be ridiculously long but i kind of like to start lumping everything in together so let me know if you'd enjoy that and that is it for me today i hope you're all having a wonderful day and i will see you guys in my next video Bye. Bye. so today I thought I'd do an updated makeup routine as I haven't done one in a while and I've switched up my makeup routine a little bit for autumn 